I used to do free shows for like my fans every month before I was getting booked for shows. I used to do like s s Sweet Sixteen parties and shit. Cause like I always had a big fan base. I just ain't had that. Right. I just ain't blow up. You know yeah, what I'm you saying? You said you like your stream was going. Crazy yeah, my streams. Was, I had like a thousand followers, but I was getting two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand views on just audios, no videos. So it's like my shit been streaming. I been had a core fan base. So it's like when Sleazy Flow blew up. That's why it's so easy for me to like. That's why I got so many fans now. It's still, it's so easy for me to do mm -hmm. that. It take artists years to do. You know. Right. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Let's get this popping, man. You do a whole lot of interviews, bro. Yeah. I be hearing you like you talk, you be like, you be like, you do interviews like every three months type. I do a lot of interviews, yeah. You like them? Sure. They cool. It was just work. It's really work. Still, it depends. I I like the some of them. Yeah. So, Which ones you like the best? Uh. The big ones. Pause. Mm. No, nah, you ain't. Those? Nah, they be. They probably the ones you like the least for real. Probably. Yeah. Be like some low key people. Like, it be like low key interviewers. They kind of cool. And you ain't never like uh, putting on? You ain't never uh, post them? Yeah, I be posting. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. That's hard. I put that type of thing. Especially, that's especially if a motherfucker tag me, I post that shit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nah, that's hard. Nah, because I be knowing like sometimes I don't be liking to do the interviews, but you do so many. Yeah. So I would think like, I wonder if you liked it or not. No, nah, I just don't. I don't go do it. I mean, it's cool. No, I put your um. Yeah. You did one. Well, you did a couple with Arthur Porch. I, I don't know if it was the last one. You had all your peoples there. Yeah, Arthur Porch. Hey, cool. I with your team though. Like, like y'all like mm -hmm. real close, real. Nah, facts. Yeah, I fuck with that. Shit, yeah. Damn, a year and a half, man. Like, we've shit. been grinding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, damn. It's like, I got a couple questions. Let's get straight to it. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy J Hill, Mr. J Hill Podcast. We in the building. Um, yo, it's going crazy, and it's just keep getting crazy, man. Sleazy World Go is in the building. What what's up, happening? Bro? What's happening? Hey, man, your come up is 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 definitely dope. Yeah. Is but it's interesting to the point where I definitely got some questions to ask you about it. Bet. A year and a half. Yeah. I know it feels great to you, right? Nah, for sure. It Absolutely. definitely do. It still feels fate to me. So like, I'm getting used to it still. So. Mm. Yeah. So you ain't, you ain't even like coming to it yet. You don't even feel like you that guy right now yet. I mean, it's like a dream. You know, when you when your life is like a certain way for so many years, your whole life, mm. then it just changed. It's like they don't feel like you living your real life. You right. know, you got to get used to it. So. It's a real almost. Yeah. Yeah, I told you, you come in here looking good. Yeah. This big chain, like you just get this like, what the, what nah, is this? What did it say? Sleazy. Oh, it say sleazy? Yeah, yeah. Damn, you just got that? Nah, I ain't just got it. I got it not too long ago. Probably like five months ago. Mm. Yeah. You said when you're so used to living a certain life and then it changed, right? Like, what's the biggest change you think for you so far? Like, f for example, right? Say if you, say if you like living in a, say, say if you're doing the same thing, you living in a city, you doing, you used to, like, for years and years, y'all doing the same. Mm -hmm. You go to a different city and everything is different. Mm -hmm. Now you're doing different used to was like the shit you doing now i'm gonna feel like it's a dream and the shit you was doing gonna feel like that's your regular life because you've been living that no, regularly sure. you know every day so yeah but it's way different than that though because you can go from one up situation to another up situation yeah you ain't just go from city to city you went from like probably struggling you know yeah to like really lit singing your songs like yeah. the biggest artists hopping on your songs like that ain't like from moving from one city to another city. Like, that ain't the same. That ain't nowhere near the same. Nah, facts, it ain't the same, but it's me just trying to get you to understand. No, nah, facts. Yeah. So, yeah. I feel it. So, yo, you from um, uh, Missouri, Kansas City? Yeah. That's interesting. Then you moved to Michigan, right? Or was nah. it the other way around? I was born in Michigan. Born in Michigan. Yeah. Um, 
what is it? How, how do I say Grand it? Rapids, Michigan? Yeah, Grand Rapids. Yeah. And then you moved to Missouri. Yeah. Tell me about that. Like, that's, like, that had to be a big difference, or was it not? Nah, it was a it was a big difference. I was I was I was young as mm-hmm. so it was like I ain't really want to move. Like when I first moved to Missouri, I hated Missouri mm-hmm. cause like everybody I knew was in Michigan. So right. it's like, but I was too young to make a decision. So it was like I had to thug it out. But how was the people though? Were they similar or no? Nah, they different. It's a different culture. So it's two different things. It's What's like the biggest difference you think? Really, everything how they dress, how they talk, how they walk, everything is different. That's crazy. Cause I'm from Baltimore. I moved down here, and it's like the same. Like it's like night and day. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, it's like some Baltimore, cities though. Some cities complement each other. Like some cities, like take after each other. Like sure. Missouri take after like Oakland. Like they mm-hmm. watch a lot of Oakland. So it's like if you from Oakland and you go to Missouri, you are gonna feel like you still at home. I would never think that. That's yeah. crazy. I um I ask that because like I always try to find like something similar that I can relate to. But the one thing about Missouri is like not a lot of people come from Missouri. No, you facts. Got, what, tech nine, right? Yeah, yeah. But like, I know I'm probably being doing a disservice to the n- that feel like they really lit right now. But I don't know. Just being respectful. No, nah, that's facts though. Saying, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like probably tech nine and maybe you the next biggest n- that came out of Missouri, right? Yeah. But like it's similar to Baltimore, even though like we had a lot of superstars coming from Baltimore, but we still for some reason feel like we the underdogs. Like mm-hmm. don't really understand our music culture for real, how they should be a good representation. Nah, that's how I be, and it it's really like who, it's it's on whoever get into that door and who make the example. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if a mom make it out of a city that slept on, cause you know the industry been with the same cities over and over again forever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it take the right person to come up out of a new city and make it known mm-hmm. or make it interesting. You know what right. I'm saying? So that's but really what it's about. Tell me how I'm still curious of like I'm just curious. Look at the interview. I'm curious of how Missouri is because I'm I'm gonna be straight up with you. Like I'm an ignorant, so I think I hear Missouri. I'm like, okay, that's like somewhere that I don't know about. There ain't nothing going on down there. It's just I don't know. I think of nothing. Probably empty towns and like that. But I'm pretty sure it ain't like that. You gotta do your research. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I'm talking to you. This is research. Look you gotta this. do your research. It's <laughs> a lot of it? it's a lot of things going on down there. Uh, it's always topping the murder rate. What's the most interesting part about it? The most interesting part about Missouri. Yeah. I don't know. I love I love it there. I ain't gonna lie. I f- I love the culture there. I love the energy there. It's like even though it be a lot of bullshit going on, uh, mm-hmm. the city stick together. Okay. You know. I can believe. So you say it's like top of the murder murder rate is like sky high. Yeah, for sure. I can believe that because another place I um I actually seen that was like top because you know Boston was like always there, Chicago, all that. Shit. Yeah. Indianapolis. I would have never thought that. Nah, that's what I mean. It's like a lot of cities get overlooked because yeah. these other cities is like painted as like the best cities or like the worst cities. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Nigga, go to Missouri. You sleep if you want to. Nah, you facts. Be <laughs> <laughs> Play if you want to. You think it's sweet over there. It ain't sweet. Yeah. Dude, what's like? Do you feel like any pressure coming from like, again, respectfully, because I don't want the people from Missouri come in the comments, but like, being like the second big second biggest dude coming from Missouri, do you feel any pressure of like I gotta really put on for the city? I don't feel no pressure. For real? No, nah, it ain't no pressure. Man. I feel like most don't know. They gonna know about us. I feel like we turn. So it's like people gonna like start to get hit more and more. Mm. I'm just doing me, doing my job. They can see from me. Well not even pressure. Do you feel like some type of like sort of obligation to put on for your city? Nah, facts. I don't feel obligated, but it's it's something I want to do. Because, mm. like, me growing up there, not seeing nobody actually make it, right. it's like, I know how I feel mm. to feel like it ain't no hope facts. because you don't see it. So, yeah. You feel like you like the only hope now? Yeah. Uh, do you do you, you feel that from the, the people that, that you talk to from there? Nah, facts. People, like the the kids, the city, they definitely mm. believe now, you know. I definitely changed a lot in the city, like making it, you know. Mm. You uh dropped sleazy flow, right? Yeah. It went crazy. Yeah. At what point in time where it's like, oh nah, it's really different. I ain't gonna lie, I, I I feel like it was different before I even rapped on the beat. Like when I heard the beat, I just had like the talking at the beginning of it. Right. I just knew it was like yeah, one of the ones because I I visioned the whole video. 
like I directed the video and everything. So like I visioned all of it before I made it. Yeah, now that's probably like one thing that I, I was I wanted to ask you though, right? You say you started rapping because of a chick, mm-hmm. right? She did you dirty. Yeah. Right. That's where you get like sleazy, right? Right. That's what sleazy mean. I'm assuming. Nah, sleazy just like who I became. So it's like right, but ain't that like something like doing somebody dirty, like Freddie kind of like sleazy, like I'm a like I'm a grimy type or no? It can it's mean it can mean that like. It got a lot of meanings to sleazy. That's one of them for sure. What was the original meaning? Was it like grimy? Type? Yeah. Okay. So I don't give a f- that type of. Sh- okay. Yeah. What is it? All right. So before I even go into my next question, what what has it became? What? Cause you says it's multiple meanings now. It's really who I am, like as a person. Who is that? What is that? Like if somebody says sleazy, you gotta give for, me the vocabulary for it. It's just how I move, how I act. Like I me and my know. You we tell talk. Me how you act. Me and my. We talk different, we walk different, all What's that. Different? So it's like What's different. Everybody said it different. You different. What you mean was different? I'm you gotta different. you gotta see. Like you can't really just it's a lot of explaining to do when you wanna say what's different, but I, think so. I can tell yeah. you why I'm different. How you different? When we ask him what's different, right? So if you ask me that question, I say depending on where I'm at. Right? If we talking about this like That's what I'm saying. It, it takes a lot to explain that. So it's like So what make you different in like, I don't know, in this music industry? Because we talking music. My flow, my style, mm. how I'm coming, mm. who coming, how I'm coming. Facts. Nobody. So it's like, that's what make me different in the music industry. No, the flow is definitely unique. It's yeah. Definitely like special. And a lot of probably biting off right now, but that's a good thing. Nah, facts. I mean, you, you, you burst me. Mm-hmm. So going back to the question I was going to say, so Sleazy, right? Originally it was cruddy, grimy, like doing dirty, right? Originally. That's the original meaning, right? And the song, what you say, what was the song you say? Uh... Your girl feel safe over here. That's where the shooters be. Yeah. Right. So is is it about like taking another or no? Nah. It like ain't, that part. It ain't really like all that. It's just like when when the situation happened with my ex and shit, it's just like it just brought a different side of me out. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I move. I start moving different. Like I start moving more. I start moving sleazy. Yeah. Mm. So. Nah, cause when I heard it, I, first thing I thought I'm like, that's it's like taking. A- Cause she feels safe over here. Like you gonna like that sound like you trying to take. No, that's just a true story. I put in a song. Wait, what's the story? She says she feels safe over here. That's what the shooters be. But then your girl, right? Your your ex girl at the time. She she kind of like she was she fucked off on you for real. Yeah. Right. And I was like, man, he probably been on demon time ever since. Like now I'm on the same. Like, do you think that? Yeah. Is that to you? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Damn. Yeah. When is when we coming back from that? When we gonna come out of it? I'm out of that now. Mm. What you think got you out of it? I don't give a f- no more. I made it. Mm. <laughs> My goal was to make it. Like when the shit happened, I just was like finna get rich. That's so that what I told myself. Man. That don't f- with you though. It's still to this day. Mm-mm, nah. Why? Mm. For what? Yeah. You gotta think. You gotta look at it like this, bro. A female, she f- before you meet her, she gonna f- after you stop mm. talking to her. So it's like. You see yourself like taking somebody serious anytime soon? Yeah, that's what I'm on. That's the type of time I'm on. Grown man. Yeah. Yeah. Now eventually you got, we got to throw away the like the childish ways, right? I feel like sometimes niggas get hurt and then it's just dogs and I don't never come back. Like I ain't never coming back. Like these hoes. Yeah, you can't let you can't let you can't let nobody control your life. You know what I'm saying? That's like giving somebody too much power over who you is. So it's like, yeah. That's crazy, cause even outside of relationships, I feel like that's a life lesson right there. A lot of shit come from the streets, they get into the music industry, and they try to bring the streets into the music industry. And now when it's talking crazy, and you don't understand, you responding is literally what you just said. It's yeah. letting somebody else control your life. But like, bro, like, you got way more to lose than these. Nah, facts. And then it's like it ain't shit with social media. I don't really mm-hmm. take social media that serious. So it's like, what am I? saying it ain't really gonna bother me because i know when i go in public most all respect so it's like Facts. it ain't that same energy i'm gonna get on in, like on social media Facts. versus person so no it's cap. like i don't be really too worried about that use that social media to boost up everything boost the ego and they feel like they untouchable nah you nah i said that all the time social media that's like the root of all evil now mm-hmm. it was money but it's social media now oh my god and i feel like Ah, yeah, like Instagram specifically, I always say this, like, it's not even IG, it's not Instagram no more. It's like instant gratification. And they see you, right, and they just assume that, like, man, he got it. 
don't know what it took to get there. No matter what the work, they don't understand what work you put in to, to be where you at. And they like, man, I want what he got. And yeah. then what happened is they get jealous and they get envious. And now they trying to take what they got because they want it right now. And it's like, bro, you got to work for this. I feel like a lot of people go through things in their life and they deal with a lot of shit in their life and they use social media to like take it out on other people. Mm -hmm. Like a motherfucker one know you from a can of paint, but they hate on you because you're in a position they want to be in. Mm. But they don't want to take the time to work towards it. Facts. Talking to Insta Insta gratification, right? Instagram. Let's say we real quick. Coming up so fast, do you feel like it's almost like scary? Cause like you don't really know how it feels to like or looking from the outside. I would assume like it was overnight, right? Like it's overnight. He came up in a year and a half. A lot of out here working hard for it, so they understand what it takes to stay in that spot. I won't feel like it was overnight, cause I. I remember vividly like the shit I had to go through to get to where I'm at. So it's like mm. a year and a half, a long time to be grinding for something. Mm. You know, it may seem quick to other people, but like I went through a lot of shit when that year and a half. I got shot twice. Mm. So much shit happened in that year and a half. So it's like I went through a lot of shit to get where I'm at now. Was that all like music related though? Or that's just like regular? Just me being in the streets type. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But I mean, so when we say the shit you've been through within a year and a half, what about specifically? in the music industry like well how hard was that, was that i mean it was hard i used to do i used to do free shows for like my fans every month before i was getting booked for shows i used to do like s s sweet 16 parties and shit. like i always had a big fan base i just ain't had that right. i just ain't blow up you know yeah, what i'm you saying said you like your stream was going crazy yeah my streams was, i had like a thousand followers but i was getting 200,000 300,000 views on just audios no videos so it's like my shit been streaming i've been had a core fan base so it's like when Sleazy Flow blew up, that's why it's so easy for me to like, that's why I got so many fans now still. It's so easy for me to do mm -hmm. that it take artists years to do, you know? Right. But staying on that topic, right, I feel like we always heard like in order to like really appreciate having something, you got to get it, lose it, and get it again. Yeah. You felt like you lost anything along the way? I mean, not really. You mm -hmm. take L's, but that's what come with it. What was the biggest L you think you took? Uh, wrong friendships, you know, mm -hmm. people around me that really weren't genuine. They saw the opportunity, you know. Mm. How 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 do you even weed that out moving forward though? Because like, a come disguised as a friend all the time. Like the enemy always gonna come as as this disguise of a friend. Like that's why betrayal hurts so bad. So how do you weed that out going forward? Like what did you? What did you do differently or what are you doing differently to mentally take notes to intent to be intentional about the people that you're around? I don't with nobody. Mm. So it's like, yeah. But that gotta be hard though. No, nah, it ain't hard. But not nobody? I'm alone at heart anyway, so it's like I ain't never really wanna with nobody in the first place. Mm. So yeah. Damn. So you just don't get That's crazy. I'll be caring. I'll be going. I want friends. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, I want like there's no nothing to you that be like, no nah, man, I want like you wait so you're the type of that's like no new friends type nah I f new friends you you can't say no that's childish i feel like that mindset childish is you like, see i was trying to lead you off the cliff with it yeah. <laughs> i was trying but you ain't take the bait but so if you don't you that's don't like saying in, that's like saying no new no uh, no new girlfriend it's like you're not gonna be stuck on the same no nah, i mean honestly it's like saying no new money because i mean a lot of the money you make is gonna be from some some new faces to keep it 100 no nah, facts <laughs> keep it 100 but so if you, you don't, so I'm trying to get to know you, right? You don't subscribe to no new friends, but you don't f with nobody. Yeah, I keep it about business. Mm. Damn. I'm just trying to understand how do you, how does anybody penetrate your circle then? If you don't subscribe to no new friends, because if you don't. It happened before. I feel like that was the shedding process, you know, mm. losing friends I was around. You know, going through. I had to go. All the I went through, I had to go through it to get to where I'm at now and yeah. to get to where I'm going in the future. So okay. it's like, I'm all for it, for real, for real. Mm. You ever lose anybody that, like, that hurt? Like, damn, like, that was up. I feel like everybody I lost hurt because it's like, I ain't, I'm not easy to love a motherfucker. So if I got you around me, that mean I actually love you, you know? Right. So, yeah. Damn, that's why betrayal hurts so much because it comes from the that you think. It no, facts. Yeah. That's just painful, man. So how is that, right? Moving in 
this industry now. Like this, we always hear the industry is fake. Ain't like they fake. How is that? I, I get you don't fuck with, but I mean certain businesses. I'm assuming like you would want business deal to be genuine and all. You don't give a about that either. It's just it is what it is. I mean, you can't business and relationships is two different things. You know, mm. it's like you're not finna be homeboys with everybody you working with. Right. You know, y'all gonna be cool though. Y'all gonna be cordial. Y'all gonna have. Y'all gonna be, you know, y'all gonna see eye to eye. Y'all gonna know what the goals is, you know, mm. to get the job done. So that's right. all that matter. So you don't never look at it like, man, I don't even want to be in these rooms with some, because I mean, some just don't move like, like you said, different. Don't move like that. You just don't give. A I don't let it bother me, you know. I'm just here to do what I gotta do. Right. Yeah. What you think the best part of this is for you? The best part of this. Yeah. Uh. Taking care of my family, taking mm. care of my kids. That's the best part to me. Yeah. Mm. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and winging in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now... You got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. So you sign, you sign right now, right? Yeah, yeah. Who you signed to? Island Records. Island Records, right? Yeah. If you had to, if you could do anything different about your deal, would you do anything different? No. Nah. Is your first deal? Yeah, it's my first deal. You think it's like perfect for you? Yeah, yeah. That's different. You is different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I basically like, I took the meetings myself, so. Mm. Everything I got is I made sure, like, that's what I wanted. So it's like, why would I do it different if I wanted it? I ain't let nobody control what was going to happen for me. So, yeah. Now, a lot of niggas, they be like, I mean, were you fresh into your deal or not? You, like, how, how long you been in your deal? I'm still fresh in my deal. Yeah. I say that because a lot of niggas, you hear them talk about that first deal, be like, man, that shit. If I that's, could change anything, it would, be, it would be something. You feel me? Like, niggas learn from it, some shit like that. A lot of people don't know what they want. Mm. So it's like, it's not really on the label, it's on you. Facts. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to let me get down, that's on you. You got to know what you want. Mm. Motherfuckers don't be knowing what they want. Mm. People don't know what they want in life. So it's like, let alone what they want in their deal. They don't even know nothing about the music industry. They just get in and start rapping, mm. you know? You thought at one point niggas thought she was going to be a one-hit wonder. I ain't, never, point, I ain't never think like that. Like I, I said, said. At one point, other people were saying that shit, right? That's cool. They say that about every artist. <laughs> you got to think about it. Every artist, gonna, they going to say, oh, that's a one-hit wonder. Then you drop another one. And then another one. Yeah, it's like, shit, my my journey just started. What you think, I don't give a fuck. Then most of the people that saying it, they ain't even no real fans of you. It's just motherfuckers trolling. Right. Like I said, you will be in a position a motherfucker want to be in. Mm -hmm. They feel some type of way. I do think you got some slept on records, though. But, like, it's funny because it's not slept on. Like, I was looking at the, um, the song you did with Offset. Step right? one. Yeah. Yeah. And, wait, what's the name of it? Step one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Step one. So I'm looking at it, and I um I'm reading the comments, and one of the comments said this shit got 15 million views, but I feel like it's so underrated. I'm looking at it, it's 22 million views, and I'm like, I still feel like it's, it was underrated. Do you feel like because at one point, right? Let's go. On, go I feel go. like it was. I feel like it was like. I feel like Sleazy Flow was like it was shadowed by Sleazy Flow, but. People okay. know me more by step one than Sleazy Flow. That's the crazy thing about it. For real? Yeah. That's crazy. So it's like, people that's not really, pro like people I don't know, like when I'm out, motherfuckers know me by step one before they know me by Sleazy Flow. I never, that's my first time hearing that shit. Yeah, yeah. I was like, damn. I'm like, why? how I not hear this shit? That's 22 million views. Yeah. But do you feel like, do you feel like you slept on that sometimes? Or you, again, like you just don't pay of, that no one? Of course I feel like I'm slept on, but. That's what comes with this shit. You got to make people believe. You just can't feel like motherfuckers going. You, ain't nobody obligated to believe you the one or believe you this. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to put in that work to get there. So it's like, that shit ain't nothing but a challenge to me. Mm. Like, keep sleeping on me. 
Yeah, I, it's but it's it's crazy because like even like when you said in the beginning you was always doing thousands of views even when you ain't had no followers like mm-hmm. even when niggas ain't know your song no, no you niggas knew your songs and yeah shit. niggas ain't even know my face they know my songs do you feel like it's changed now or it's still like your music is bigger than the the actual person you are I feel like my music I feel like my music a little bigger but not too much the reason why I say that because. I don't mingle a lot. Like, I ain't really, like, in the industry for real. I stay to myself, you know. And on top, I'm from the cities I'm coming up out of, like. Yeah. And I was wondering, like, because, like, sometimes a niggas probably be playing your music. You walk in, I wonder. Like, if you ain't had your chain on, right, you ain't had none of your shit on you, sweats. You walk in a place and niggas don't know who you is, but they bumping your music. Nah, people be knowing me with ski mask on and all that. (laughs) So it's like, motherfuckers be knowing. I know that shit gotta be annoying. Yeah, and it gotta be diff- It gotta be annoying because, like you said, like you just a, like that's just who you are, right? Like standoff niggas, like you don't fuck with a lot of people, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm. But a nigga would uh, just automatically assume, jump the gun, and like, damn, bro, I seen like they might, it might be your biggest fan. Yeah, and you might just not be having the best day, and you don't. No, I'm I'm, I'm super nice to my fans. Like I don't play about my fans. Like mm. I do, I do a lot for my fans. You know, but ain't, but. Even still, like outside of being your fans, the fact that you can't just have a bad day, that don't be frustrating at times. Like, I gotta, like you said, I, I, I gotta give my fans love because they the reason why I'm in this motherfucker. Yeah. But sometimes you might not feel, actually want to, like, feel like it, right? No, it's it's a lot of times where it's like, man, I don't feel like doing this shit, but it's like, you know, mm, that shit this is- your job. People go to work every day, they don't feel like going to work. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this is what you signed up for. Yeah. This is what paying your bills. So it's like, go to work, nigga. Nah, yeah. no cap. Who who you come up under though? Like you had to come up under somebody that knew the game, cause it sound like you fully like, like I know what come with this shit, and I gotta deal with it. Like sound like you you fully ready for that shit, but you had to have some type of mentorship, some type of leadership that taught you the game. It's crazy. I never had no mentorship. Like I ain't never had nobody teach me the game. I just I feel like a lot of shit in life is common sense. You know, people overthink a lot of shit. Nah, facts. Wouldn't it be just simple answers to everything, you know? I mean, one thing I learned, though, about life is common sense ain't so common all the time. Nah, facts. And a nigga who, a nigga that knows something, no, he know nothing at all. Mm -hmm. So, like, even the fact that you figuring this shit out on your own is a big compliment to who you are as a person. Even, like, you were saying how, like, just coming up in the music game, a lot of decisions you made, you made them decisions on your own, mm-hmm. and it got you the results exactly that you that you wanted. Mm-hmm. Like you want some neo shit. Nah, facts. Like I feel like, like I feel like you know, uh, just being black. A lot of times, like our mind is trained to believe we can't do some shit, you know, mm. or we ain't smart enough, or we ain't good enough at some shit, you know. Mm. And it's like that's a that's the big part of like why a lot of people, like a lot of black people, who stay in poverty and shit, mm. or never make it, or go far, is because. They feel like they can't all the time, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's one of my big missions as far as, like, my city and shit. Just showing them, like, you can, you know? Mm, bro, that's so crazy. You Like, you touched on something that I was... I was literally just thinking about this earlier. I'm like, bro, it's so fucked up because, like, when you... Crime is everywhere, so let me let me premise that. Crime is everywhere. But when you think about most of the crime, it's always in, like, the small cities, like, where a lot of poverty is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, usually, like, when niggas is rich living in these... Rich neighborhoods, it's not a lot of crime going on. I'm not saying there's no crime. Yeah. And I was just saying, like, that's the mentality of us in the hood. Because when, like, we don't see the potential of where we can go. So because we don't see that, we just trying to get it like, how we can at that given moment. Yeah. That's or we want a shortcut. Mm-hmm. I remember a lot of times I used to be like, when I think when I think of some shit I want to do, I'd be like, I think of the steps you'll have to go through. Mm. I'm like, I can't do that. I ain't never went to school for that. So how I'm going to learn how to do that? Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things that'll block you. Like, your mind will block you from going somewhere, you know, mm. in the way you think. But and that goes back to what I said. A lot of shit is common sense. Mm. You know, I had to stop thinking about that and just think about, like, if they can do that shit, I can do that shit. Facts. You know okay. what I'm saying? And I was just talking about your, your crew and shit. I thought I actually thought she was about to come in here with mad niggas. But, like, because, again, I seen an interview with all your homies. But the one thing that I thought was super dope was the fact that, like, it seemed like all of y'all was on one accord, bro. Nah, facts. So, like, you might only have nobody in your circle. Your, because a lot of niggas, sometimes, when you got these goals, 
niggas really can't see it. Like they really can't see it because they never seen it before. Yeah. It seemed like you don't got that in your in your clique for real. I mean, it's more so like I feel like my guys follow my lead because they know. You know what I'm saying? They know I they know I understand. You know, and they learn it from me. It ain't shit to learn from a motherfucker, no matter how younger they is than you or whatever. It's okay. like, if he know, he know. Mm. That takes some maturity, too, though. Just understanding that it don't matter the age of a nigga. You can learn from him. Like, yeah. a lot of niggas, again, they got that pride. They got that ego, right? And I point to the heart because, like, a lot of times niggas, niggas don't understand how to deviate from their emotions. Mm. Like, they so stuck in their emotions. They don't know how to put their emotions to the side. But them emotions, man, they have you fucked up. Like, you can't listen to nobody now. You fucked up. Yeah. I don't need a dick somewhere. Like, it's crazy. That I want to go back to Missouri for a second, bro, because, again, like, it seems similar to, like, my city. My city's small. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I do feel like, I ain't going to lie to you, I feel like putting on for my city is something that I, I got to do. Yeah. I just feel like niggas don't do it right. You feel me? Like, do you go back to your city often? Are you still there? Yeah. You still stay there? Yeah. You don't feel like you, we, we heard Boosie say um, a lot of times it be the niggas that's going to kill you that be in your own city. Nah, facts. You don't feel like you got to get out of there or, like, help from a distance? Eventually, yeah. But right now, this is what, that's, like, my safe haven. That's where I'm comfortable at. So, mm-hmm. yeah. What makes you so comfortable? It's my city, you know. But that's, that's what, what I'm Nipsey used to. At. We see that. We see what Nipsey Hussle. We see Young Dolph. We see, shit, it's, I, it's so many people to name. A lot of, little Snoop. Uh, a lot of niggas died in their, their own city because, like, niggas is hating on them and they think it's love there. Nah, facts. But I feel like you can't really control your destiny. Mm. I feel like if it was my time to leave my city, God would have put it in my heart to leave already, you know? Mm. So it's like. How do how you, how, how you know if he ain't tell you he's just not listen? Give me nah, something. I'm, I'm listening for sure. How you know he ain't tell <laughs> I you? I follow my gut. That's a big thing with me. I follow my how you, gut. How you differentiate your gut and God, nigga? Like, that's tell just, me. That's, that's God talking to you. Your gut is God? Yeah. Right now I know. So when I'm hungry, that's God telling me to get, your, get some food. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So you still in the city. You still feel like you get love there. You ain't, you ain't going nowhere. It's, it's, it's straight. How is the, like, how is the, dif- what's the difference in your city? You see, you see like niggas walking up to you, like, getting autographs. I don't like, go nowhere pictures. in my city. Nigga, what do you do then? You don't fuck with niggas, you're like, what's, like, I'm trying to, like, nigga, you, you ain't about to come up here, you know, nigga, you can talk to me, nigga, like, what the fuck do you do? You know, nothing get on your nerves, right? You, like, you don't, like, you don't give a fuck about nobody or nothing, like, you understand, like, nigga, what, like, what makes you human, nigga? Like, what's, what, what, get, what, 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 when what I'm in my, on when I'm in my city, I'm with my, I'm with my kids, mm. so it's like, that's my time with my kids, you know? I'm on the road a lot, so it's like, it ain't shit. Outside when I'm when I'm there, it's like ain't shit outside for me. I don't go to clubs. I don't do all that party and shit. So it's like, You're smart that's guy. not my lifestyle. You know, that's not the type of shit I'm into. So when I say I don't do shit in my city, it's because I rather do some shit with my kids. I rather mm-hmm. be on a game. I rather go watch movies or some shit like little shit like that. You know. Mm-hmm. You said you your son just turned two. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got you got another kid. Yeah. How old? I got I got two more kids. I got a younger what's boy. The older, what's the oldest? What's the it's, it's a girl named Chloe. Chloe, how old is she? She three. Three? Yeah. That's that like, you being on the road so much, when you come back, do you feel like you miss time? Because a lot of times they say, man, I hate going on the road because like I feel like I miss so many times. I miss the first steps. I miss like the first words and shit like that. Do you feel like you miss a lot when you go on the road? I was still coming up when it, it was like first steps, first words and shit, so I ain't miss none of that. But now it's like, I feel like my kids just be happy to see me when I come home. They, they forgot I was gone. Mm. So it's like more so on how I feel about it. But them, on the other hand, when I come home, it's like I've been home. They be happy as hell to see me. So, mm. yeah. Nah, that's hard, man. Damn, that's dope. Yo, you um, you dropped uh, Off the Court, right? That's mm-hmm. the song, right? Mm-hmm. Did you get any backlash from that song? Because I feel like that song, when I heard that, when I first heard that song, it was during the whole the whole movie when John Morant was going through some bullshit. Mm-hmm. Did anybody, like, reach out to you about anything? Did he reach out to you? Mm-mm. Nobody reached out to you at all? No. I we reached out to his team, like, prior before releasing the song, you know, just to let him know, like, That's we happen. releasing the song type shit, you know. They ain't you no pushback at all? I mean, it's like 50-50 with it, you know, mm-hmm. but at the end of the day, it's like, it's my career. 
You gotta respect that though. Yeah. Like that's I mean that's And cool I respect cool. John Moran. I fought with him. He one of my favorite players. Yeah. You know? And a lot of people like misunderstand a song. Like they just sing cause it's John Morant. It's something negative, you know? Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers choose basketball players all the time. Not in lyrics. Sure. Not that don't mean right. a basketball player doing what they saying in the lyrics. So it's like nah, this man. shit ain't about you. I'm just using you as a phrase, mm-hmm. you know? Now I heard I was wondering, like I wonder like if you got any like if anybody from his team reached out, like yo, come on, like because that was like middle shit going on. Granted, everything yeah. is good now. Uh-huh. I was wondering, like, or, yeah. or did you even feel any remorse, like when you dropped and you saw all that shit was going on? Like that's what I'm saying. Like the song ain't no bad song towards John. It's not Marin. a bad song, but the words, the words, and like yeah. we humans, is humans, niggas gonna think what they gonna think. You feel me? Like I, 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 you could tell me what it mean. I could understand what it mean. Yeah, that's us. But it's still a bunch of idiots in the world. We can't ignore that. You know what I'm saying? We can't we can't act like that don't happen. Like we don't kinda know that people don't think shit. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, you can't really control motherfuckers think. You mm. know. Shit that was done was already done. You know? Mm. So what a motherfucker was thinking, they already thought about it when it was done. Like my song ain't gonna make them think nothing else, you know what I'm saying? Nah, so nice. yeah. You just dropped the project too, right? Or, or... Yeah, where the shooters be. Mm. How was that going? Like what's going on? Talk to me. Oh, it's finna be gold soon. It's going good. Yeah. It's about to be gold already? Yeah. Are you out of this world, bro? This is crazy, bro. Yeah. Damn, man. What's going on, man? Like, how, you come in here, you all chill and shit. I'm trying to figure out like, how you feeling. Like, what's on your mind, nigga? Like, <laughs> like usually, I, like you be, you be, you feel me? Like, what's going on? You ain't in the mood today? Like, what's up, bro? Nah, this is me. That's how I am. I'm a Capricorn. We don't do too much. I don't know shit about Capricorns. I feel like, I don't know. I'm a Gemini. Niggas hate me, so I don't know shit about Somebody tell me about, you know Capricorn? What's, you hate me? You hate me? Fuck y'all niggas, man. What, tell me, somebody tell me about Capricorn. What's, what's Capricorn? This nigga Capricorn, right? Oh, yeah, my bad. Shit. That's my guy, too. I don't know shit. I'm sorry. What the fuck? But nah, you still like a cool nigga. I'm just trying to figure. I'm trying to figure you out for real. I'm trying to figure, like, like how you feeling this shit. I, I know you give me, yeah, it's cool, but it's like, nah, it's deep. It's more than that. It's more to you than that. It gotta be. I feel like it is, though. Like, this nigga, like, man, nah, I'll I be with him. Like, there'll be some shit going on. Nah, I mean, like shit, Capricorn, like, we, that's what we do, we chill. Like, we don't really like to do too much if it ain't no need to, mm. you know? Yeah, I feel like, do you feel like social media, podcasts, interviews, all of that shit, you feel like they be reaching for moments? For example, like, I feel like when I hear your music, I think, like, I think of, like, back in the day, how the hood niggas been. Well, mm-hmm. right? Like, niggas, like, not supposed to say too much. If it's, if it's, if it's problems, you don't say who you got problems with. Shit like that. But nowadays, it's the total opposite. Yeah. It's way different. Do you feel kind of, like, weirded out when it's, like, niggas be reaching for all type of problems, and it's like, bro, that ain't that ain't how it's supposed to be. Like, niggas is weird, like. I mean, it's really, like, I don't really let what's going on with other motherfuckers. I just let them do what they do. That's their life. That's how they live. That's how they was raised, or that's how they think, you know? Mm. It's too many people in this world to control. Or to like feel some type of way about how they moving, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta make sure you moving the right way. Mm. So that really be the main goal, making sure I'm moving the right way. Nah, that's okay. Yeah. Right. I fuck with it, bro. I appreciate you for pulling up, dog. Yes, sir. Real, man. It's definitely different. I I like it though. Yeah. I fuck with it. Like yeah. a lot of niggas be talking bullshit. They don't yeah. really be about that shit. I don't know. For me, I got a chip on my shoulder. I don't fuck with niggas for real. I let niggas know all the time. Don't I, Kyra? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get canceled out these motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care. Like, fuck you niggas. You, nah, fact. Do you, do you, or is it? Be real with me. Is it that? Do you think you got so much further to go that you really can't say too much now, and you just hold? Because sometimes, like, we got them stories in our pocket, and like at the right time, I'm gonna say what I want to say, but just not right now. Is that it, or is just you just really just don't give a fuck? It really like it, it depends on what you ask me. Like, do you have you, anything in your pocket right now, right? That you don't fuck with, you just not talking about right now, you just waiting for the perfect time. We don't have to say who or what. I don't give a fuck about that. But I'm just saying, I'm just warning about you for real. Like, is it like some shit you just really don't fuck with, but like right now ain't the time? Cause I'm trying to get to another level. I'm gonna talk about everything when I when I want what I really want to talk about when I get there. I learned not to really comment on a lot of shit because that's what makes you turn into like the typical internet motherfucker you know everybody got an opinion everybody want to say something about somebody Mm -hmm. life or what they doing you know what i'm saying it's like that shit ain't my place that's what you going through that's on you you know what i'm saying so it's like it's really not nothing because it's like shit 
I learned not to comment on that shit. Nah, fact. Because you're going to turn into the typical motherfucker that's commenting on everybody's situation. Like, for example, a motherfucker can be having, a celebrity can be having internet problems, like like relationship problems on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. It's a million motherfuckers got something to say about their relationship, you know what I'm saying? Fact. But it's like, what you going through? You probably doing the same shit I'm doing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Nah, fact. And if you, if you really, honestly, if you're a celebrity, you shut the fuck up, you probably won't have your problems over the internet. Yeah. This is what it is. Yeah. The funny, me doing this interview with you, right? It's funny because, like, your song, uh, Sleazy Flow, that kind, that blew up on TikTok, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, like, you give me everything else but a TikTok nigga. I feel like I wouldn't assume, I wouldn't think that song, like, just meeting you, I wouldn't think that song blew up on TikTok. Because technically it didn't blow up on TikTok. It went mainstream on TikTok because mm -hmm. it had millions of views already before TikTok mm -hmm. caught a hold of it. So it's like, and like I said, I had fans already. So Damn. that shit just, you know. Are you entertaining TikTok more now? Since, I mean, it did something for you. It ain't. It, it might not have blow up on TikTok, but it did something. I don't really know how to use TikTok like that. So it's like, I ain't really been on it for real, for real. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to learn how to get on it. It's cool. I fuck with TikTok. You know what I'm saying? TikTok is definitely like the new wave of the internet. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like try to like shy away from it, but it's like that's because they don't want to accept the new. Me, you know, me. some old nigga shit. Like, I'm gonna be on that shit. Eventually, you gonna you gonna be on that shit though. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> or you gonna or you gonna be left behind? You know, <laughs> you don't you don't want to be left behind. You know what I'm saying? Shit. So yeah, I might be on my Joe Button shit. Like fuck it, like I'm just on my old shit. Yeah. D are you dropping music on that though? Cause I, I I feel like I heard you say one time that niggas ain't really looking at YouTube no more. Now this is I ain't gonna lie to you. This is why I did take some game from you. Yeah. Like niggas ain't really listening to music on YouTube no more. Are you dropping music specifically on TikTok now? Nah. No. No. Mm -mm. So I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't like when I drop singles and like when I drop my project and all that shit. I ain't drop shit on TikTok. Like for it, you talk all this shit about it being moving the culture for you ain't even doing, you ain't even utilizing this shit. Like I said, I'm starting to get, I'm trying to get like on TikTok for real, cause like my shit blew up on TikTok. I ain't even have a TikTok. Mm. I ain't even know what TikTok was when my shit went on. I tell you, seem like you not, you wouldn't even know what that shit is. So it's like I don't really know how to work that shit. Mm. So yeah, nah, fuck. Then it's like I feel like I ain't trying to force nobody to listen to my shit. Mm. You know. If it ain't good enough, it ain't good enough, you know. Nah, fuck. So, I, yeah. Nah, I'm the same way. Like, I don't want nobody supporting me. Like, bro, fuck with it because you fuck with it. Like, uh, again, man, I fuck with you, brother. Uh, tell niggas how they can get everything, man. Like, shit, you can follow me on all my social media, Sleazy World underscore Go. It's the same for all that. Yeah. Sleazy World, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast is rap. We out. Appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. Good.